my first mosh pit was in Germany, bro, and it was in 2019, bro, before everyone, I was the first Afrobeat artist to start a mosh pit. You know what I mean? It was my thing. Yeah, when yeah, I do yeah, shows yeah. in Nigeria, I get people rip their vests off. Bro. <laughs> like, it's insane, bro. You know, people, it's, it's the energy that I carry, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Now, so now imagine when this shit gets bigger. Yeah, it's off the scale. Like, it's going to be crazy. Someone, someone said I'm the Travis Scott of Africa. DJ Firestar keeping it smashed. DJ Firestar, lit live, UK to US, the rap show, influential record, you know my thing. My brother's in the building, finally. Kid of Kuds, well, go on, cuz. Out here, active, 2024. <laughs> How you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. Blessed, grateful, man. Charged up. You know, so excited to be here. I feel like me and you have been meaning to do this for time, bro. Yeah, but it just, it just been just going on. It's not, I don't think it's anyone's fault. No, you know, no, 100%, no, fault. bro. When like, the time's like, right. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's, like, that's what I, I work as well. I believe when the time is is right everything just clicks you know yeah and today was the time you know so and I, f I think for years you've always been someone that when we were speaking i look back at some of the dms from years ago sometimes i would check you know you look back at a, a conversation with a man to just see where you're at and i've i've always had that respect for you and likewise same way back you've always showed man love you've yeah. always wanted to sit down chop it up mm -hmm. and we're going back years like mm -hmm. when you, you know, this when is I the biggest survive and stuff. And yeah. yeah, and it yeah, was. Yeah. I, I mean, you've been doing music for a long time, but obviously, you're as big as you've ever been now. Yep. So you're still to still have that and yep. to still be sitting here, bro. Like, yep. I just want to big you up first of yeah, all. Yeah, man, you know I appreciate, it, man. Love, yeah. love, man. Every time. But look, for some of the obviously for the rap show for the US audience as yeah. well, even the UK or just anyone that's watching, an opener, bro. Yeah. Who is Kidder and what is your sound, bro? Like, tell the people, like, what you represent. Let's talk about what you represent, first of firstly, all, Firstly, firstly, I'm from Africa, Nigeria, to be precise. Yeah. Born and raised in Nigeria. You know, I, I grew up in a city called Ibano, you know, like a rural area, you know, the Brown Roof City, you know. And then, you know, my sound is Afro Jiggy, man. You know, Come on. the first thing I first heard in my life while I was in the ghetto in Africa, it was um, this artist called Arun Shola. He's still alive right now, you know, so like that's where my career started. I can't lie, you know. Mm. It was me with my Walkman with the cassette and stuff, and I used to walk around the area and stuff. And can you cuss on it? Can yeah, you, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Things, right? so then, you know, like I used to walk down the road and stuff. So, but you see people stopping on the road and be like, yo, bro, <laughs> sing me that song and shit. You know, this made me feel like that, that little goofy kid. But the thing is, like, my sister told everyone that I know the lyrics of that song so crazy. So when in time they see me, they just stop me on the road. So I remember the last time I done it, it was like one time I was walking down the road and my, one of my sister's friend called me and was like, yo, Kyrie, do you come here? He was going to sing the song for me. <laughs> then I was like, well, what the flip? Then, <laughs> then I sang the song. Then I'm like, okay, then what do I get for singing this song? But it was like, you know, for after that, I feel like, you know, I was getting the vibe, but like people want me to entertain them, you know? Mm. So and I feel that's where I started, you know, feeling the, you know, the musical side. But I didn't really follow up, you know, because so I was a dancer, I was a kid. Mm -hmm, so I was dancing mm -hmm. in my church and stuff, and I used, to, I used to do street dancing and shit. Yeah. And, you know, I used to pull, like, football tournaments on for my friends. You know, I've always been, like, I don't want to say a leader and stuff, you know, but I've always been very ahead of my, my mates and stuff, mm. you know. And I've never been, like, the oldest amongst people as well. Right, I'm right, always right. the youngest, you know. So it's yeah. always, like, I'm always very, very, very active with everything. But I feel like everything started off from Ibadan, the city I grew up in. I was born in... I was born in Lagos, though. Mm. I was born in Ogun State. But there's different parts, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard you talk about that before. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Like, so like, I, like, I, there's a song called, um, um, shit, what's the title again? Fuck, Lock Jordan. that I made uh, one of my EPs. Like, like I was born in Lagos, but I had to move to IB, mm. you know? So I had to move to my grandma's, you know? So I had to grow up in a, in a crazy side. <laughs> and it, was, it was very fun, though. I can't lie. But though you've spoke about those sides before, so, you know, I don't want to have to make you repeat that story. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but real talk, like, it was greasy. It was like, hum it was tough. Yeah, man. It was it just, tough times, no? Yeah, yeah, it was tough times, but then it makes you like, appreciate life and stuff. And yeah. Because it's mad, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. Last interview, I think I done an interview with um, Adam. Adam. Yeah, that was. 20, was it Adam 21. It, no Jumper. Yeah, No Jumper. That was four years ago, yeah, bro. That four shit, or five years ago. That shit got me in trouble with my mom really? and my uncles. Oh, you're my, talking the things. Yeah. I watched that one. Then I was like, yo, mom, but it's cool, though. I don't mean it in a bad way. Yeah. Because obviously my yeah. mom is tough, bro. So yeah. 
Because the way I was saying it, but obviously, to me as a kid, I was like, yo, that's... that's I don't it, think there's no one as gangster as my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. That's you know, what everyone feels like that about their mums. You know, so, but then, my, I think my family kind of got it wrong, and then I was like, nah, it's, come on, man. Like, I'm you know, really, no, no African, I, I would think, is, you yeah. know, just, everyone wants respect. I'm like, nah, man. So you bro. caught a bit of heat for that one? Yeah, man. Like, I was on a group chat and things, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck you did? Uh, you know, and then... It, Cause, cause I'm not, I won't say I'm not challenged, but I've always been the kid that don't really care. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So and they hate the fact that I don't care. Yeah, do you understand? Have I'm they, like, has that, have they chilled more now to obviously yeah. because of where you are and the music's progressed yeah, so much yeah. and the career's progressed? Yeah, like, of course. Is it, is it now? It's all cool. Like you can tell the story without any. I feel like my family members, like my big uncles, I respect them so much. Yeah. you know. And, you know, I still want to be, you know, more like them or greater than them, actually, greater yeah. than them, you know, because obviously they've laid foundations down. But, you know, they don't respect the fact that I just do my thing, bro. Yeah. I don't really like to, I don't call up, call on to anyone apart from my closest friends, you know, in rough times. I would not look back and call family sometimes. I will just, you know, write through it, you know. So it's just, you know, it's interesting to just see that they believe in me so much, you know, to just let me do my thing. Yeah. And you've been here, how long you been in London now for? How long has it been? A long time. I've been here for definitely over a decade. Yeah. But it feels like I'm still, still just fresh out. Yeah, yeah, you still feel I'm like I'm always you... like, you know, back and forth. Like, okay. I was just in Nigeria last month. I'm always there. Oh, sick. Because like, six hours away, bro. That's where all the family... Bro, my bag, I also got my passport in. Like, I can just leave from anywhere. It can be, I could be <laughs> eating right now with my friends. And then someone will call me and be like, yo, dog, we got something today. I need to pull up. And I'm gone, bro. I wake up in Lagos. So sometimes I wake up in Nigeria in the morning and i am be like yo I need to go to London bro and that's it then you I just go to outside. the airport boom I'm here and I think because the wife on the plane now you could just I'll literally sometimes I'll be te- texting my girl to our land bro like or I'm even having arguments and shit bro until I land bro and I'm here I'm like fuck I was arguing for six hours bro <laughs> fucking hell you know but yeah man it's good man so I have, to, I have to keep the balance and I think I do it very very nicely so people don't really miss me on both sides and I'm always you know about yeah and I think what I noticed speaking to you over the years is, and we just touched on it before we even jumped in here, was obviously you got two, you got two boys, right? Yep. How, uh, when you spoke about expecting your first back mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. the last interview, maybe yeah. that you done back then, mm-hmm. or one of the interviews you did back then, it was obviously a bit, you know, yeah, having, a, having a little man and like Yo, it's a new thing. Yeah, yeah. It's you hadn't, I don't your son hadn't been born. Yeah, then, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so talk about. Where are we at now today? Like, how's that transition been? It's crazy, Two boys, man. like, what's what's life saying? Like, managing like, it's life. Mad. Like, okay, so let me just be honest. So last night I was with them Sloan ETC was editing something. I don't want to say. I'll, I'll tell you later. But we yeah. editing something, and then I was up to like I think I got home like three a.m. in the morning and stuff. Mm. And I saw I had to wake up at six forty and stuff because my 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 second born. He's up. up early like me. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So he wakes up and wants food like from six. And then I, sometimes I don't even get to sleep. And so, you know, it's been very different. Mm. And it's so fun to see little human beings yeah. communicate with you and stuff. Like, you know, my first born is autistic, you know. So then, you know, I got to do some tests. Mm. And I said, I might be autistic and stuff, you know. So, but, you know, the way he moves, it's very quiet, man. He doesn't say nothing. Right. Just in his own world. You know, you see a couple of things. And he thinks he lives in Mario's world and, <laughs> you know... And I'm the one that put him on Mario, and I feel like you know, you know, kids' imagination is just, it's just crazy, and it's just they want like nice stuff. You know, the way I grew up, you can't ask for things. We didn't bro. have we things even like grew that. up with fridge and stuff yeah. in the crib. Before I, had, I left Nigeria before I had a fridge. Like you know, yeah, I didn't remember geez. like in my crib, I know any ice open the fridge, none of that in my mm-hmm. crib. You know, until I left and things. But then they wake up, they want apple juice, they want all this. I'm like, what? Like, I, when I grew up, is like we eat, like... Whatever you're given. Yeah. You give whatever they there. You, you eat chicken given. in Christmas, bro. Yeah. We we kill chickens in Christmas, bro. <laughs> we don't just eat chicken on a random day. These guys eat chicken every day, bro. They want jello fries every day, bro. Like, it's insane, bro. But I love it so much because you know, they're so intelligent. Like, my, they, they speak Yoruba to me a couple of times, you yeah. know. Now, they was telling me good money in Yoruba, you know, when they feel like it's right, you know, boy. Just, I just like to see them grow every day, you know, it's just insane, bro. Like, I just can't wait, because they're going to be like my little, like my little G's. Bro. Yeah, 100%. Because right now, because I don't know, I don't know if I'm, I'm just, they look like my friends, you yeah. know, <laughs> and I'm out with them, bro, because they, they understand me. They know when I'm I'm feeling some type of way, when they can come meet me, I'm be like, are you okay? I'm like, what the hell? How old are the boys now? They're three and four. Right, right, right. And I don't think, 
I need to have more any more kids and stuff. I feel yeah. like I'm good, like you know, you know, it's very they're very compatible. Yeah, two boys, that's like a blessing, this. fam. I could just, you know, yeah, man. It's and what's crazy. it what's that been like balancing that with let's say the last I mean the last three, four years, bro, mm -hmm. obviously we've had a pandemic that's mm -hmm. been mad, slowed everyone down. Yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. mad things have happened in the world. Lost a lot of money people. in pandemic. <laughs> you pandemic know, was crazy. Where, what's it like balancing the family with now the music, bro? Like, talk, talk a little bit about how you, how you do that, like how so, you manage to still cook up. And so number one thing, like, it's not going to be, it's not easy, bro. I'm mm. not going to lie to no one. Like, it's very difficult. You know, it's because you have to, you know, you no know, kids uh, or babies in general, they're very like helpless. You need to help them yeah, of course. at every stage, you know. So it's like you have to actually take your life out for Put a on second. Pause, would you say? Yep. Yeah. And focus on that to the fact, to the place where they can have like, you know, abilities to like do a little bit of things for themselves mm -hmm. or even say a couple things. So even though. I was very active because mm. my studio is always in my living room. Right, so right, I'm right. Always recording. You can record anywhere. I'm always on site. I'm always dis I'm always working. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, bro, yeah. that's my life, bro. Because yeah. I don't really go to bed. I'm an, I like to nap. Mm. You know, so I'm always like up doing something. So I've never been like, oh yeah, I, I've not been that. And I'll still do stuff. They will still fall asleep. I'll still have time for myself. Yeah. You know, but I feel like you know it's very difficult to keep the balance, especially when you have like you know, because you go be in their lives and stuff. Yeah. You know, they go get to know you. Properly go get to know them, understand how they move. I know when you have to travel up and down. Sometimes, I, one time I was with my son in Nigeria for like two months, bro, with me and him, bro. Like, and, and then when I was taking this, we were like, why is this guy with his, where's the mom? I was like, yeah. I've really never seen like a dad with, with like a two year old, just bro. Just everywhere, yeah. And I was just out there, we were taking him to the studio, everywhere with me. It was just like to, to have him in his country as well, like it was very fun, you know. I think it was like one going to two then. So it was fun, but you know. But right now, I feel like it's easier now. Mm. You know, like I know what's going on. There's a balance right now. You know, so like there's routine. Yeah. And with, without like jumping into your situation, are you still you and the, the mother still yeah, yeah, of team, course, of family course. unit? Like, yeah, man. What's the course. vibes there? Because when I was speak, you were speaking of in the last uh, bits that I watched that we referred to when you done the no jumper team. Oh yeah, yeah. You're yeah, saying yeah. that. It was a stressful time still, you know what I mean? A lot of arguments adjusting oh, yeah, to, oh, maybe yeah, adjusting yeah, to what's about to, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, man, what's about so, to so now, <laughs> now it's just like, just go and be, you got to be in the kid's life. You yeah. Know? So it takes a lot, you know, so you have to respect, you know, the moms. Yeah. You know, because it's not easy to bring these kids to this world and stuff. You know, so like, I think I've done, I'm, I think I'm one of the few that have done the right thing. Mm -hmm -hmm. You know, Million percent, I feel bro. like I have two kids with one person is bragging, right? Yeah, man. That's how like, it should be really and true. That's what everyone really like, wants. I mean, a lot of people, you know, I don't think I can do the 100 million baby moms. Yeah. And people call it, I'm an Aquarius guy. Like, I like time by myself, bro. Like, sometimes I don't want to be disturbed, bro. <laughs> I, wanna, I listen to rain sound, even when I'm walking around the yard. Yeah. Because I just like to, I like sanity, bro. So like I listen to jazz music sometimes, bro. So I make um, I listen to opposite. I mean opposite of what I can make. Yeah. So I like I like peace of mind, and that's why I'm raising my kids as well. On them to know how to meditate and calm down. Yeah. You know, yeah so they yeah. so they can listen more and understand. Yeah, things. I feel like you're always this mad, active, yeah. creative. Yeah. Like I'm always never. Dead. I'm not. I'm always. I do too much shit, man. Yeah. It's insane, yeah. It feels bro. like that sometimes. But I, I watch, love that stuff, bro. Yeah. Like for two years, I was just painting and shit. Like I was just painting. Then exhibitions, I was making money, I was selling my paintings, me and Sloan, we're doing a lot of collaborations. Yeah. I just done something with G Shock like two weeks ago as well. Oh, it was, sick. It was my painting stuff, it wasn't even music. Oh, they had a, ga uh, so yeah, they had so a ga um, the gallery pop. Yeah, so yeah. So I done yeah, a one on one yeah. research with them and then I done some freestyle painting. Like, I love to paint. Sick. Because, you know, because I'm not, I'm not the regular musician mm, mm, that mm. they do one thing, do you understand? So, and when other people are popping more than them, they start getting stressed out. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, when, yeah. when other people are doing their thing, I'm very happy for them and I enjoy their music while I'm paying, bro. Yeah, you know it's what it is. I don't get to like, I don't compete with no one. I'm in my own world, bro. Like, I, that's the reason why certain things take time, you know, because I'm not, I don't, I'm not cheating the game, bro. I'm doing it for my art. Like, I love music and I build what comes to my brain. I don't steal from people. Mm -hmm, do you understand? Mm -hmm. Like, I build like, what comes to my head because like, I love this craft. I know, I know this spiritual force and I don't want to play with it at all, bro. So is painting painting something that is a, of interest that will always be there. You're always gonna just be since I was on age that vibe. since I was age two. Yeah. Like I've been one sec. Excuse me. Since I was age two, I've been painting. My dad said. 
Mm. And obviously, my second bun does the same thing right now, bro. Sick. Like, I paint all over the cream and shit, all that nonsense. So that's how it apparently started. But I started just, you know, finding, I don't know. Anytime I write lyrics, mm -hmm. like on the top of my page, I was. Oh, there's always my name some out. sort of. Okay, so yeah, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, it's in you. I just never cared, you know. So one time I'm like, you know what, let me just, like, start spray painting and shit. So next minute, I was in Nigeria one time and I'd done some canvas for the first time. And then all my friends were like, what the flip? <laughs> like, into post this, I'm like, nah, gee. I don't want people to think I'm I'm trying to finesse the the art world. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I made yeah. another fucking page, bro. Yeah. Cause I love the I love the craft. I'm not trying yeah, to. Stay. I made another that's page, so I made it private, so then I can see people that come there. Yeah. So yeah, if yeah, I see yeah, mu yeah. Mu musical people, I don't let them in. I don't let the art people in. Right, people right, that want right. to buy shit. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah. So like trying to take it yeah, like man. seriously. Like I don't paint. I haven't really painted like in like eight months properly, but like I'm gonna like start finding time because right now. So much music coming, bro. Yeah, I'm like gonna it's, talk about some peak, of that, man. Bro. Like I feel sorry for everyone. Bro. <laughs> like I can't. I don't have so much strength to like complain. It's just gonna be peak. No, I'm happy. It's good. That's what you like. This is not bragging, right? None of that. This is called doing your ten thousand hours. This is you know? doing doing the home. This is doing your work. Doing man. your work. You know, there's a lot of things coming, man. So what is just for the people that you? What's a top member, bro? And like what? You know what I mean? That's the saying. That's yep. the, that's the that's what gets the love. Like, yep. what's the top member and top Jiggy me Boys? Yeah. Like, so all these things that you come out yep. with, bro. Like, so Jiggy Boys, bro. So basically, it's just bro. It's just, it's just like the almost, vibe. It's almost like no. It's not even the vibe. It's almost like a non-challenged soldier, bro. Right, right. That just understands the mission, bro. And it's not folding no matter what the condition is. That's what it is, pretty much. Yes. It's like it's like just stepping forward and your chest eye and not caring what they think. Hmm. You know, because the industry is controlled, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and yeah. people like me refuse to be controlled, bro. Like, I love to... Bro, creating this stuff is not a joke, you know, because yeah. it comes from comes from above, bro. It comes from God, bro. Mm -hmm, Do you get? Mm -hmm. So when you're putting all these melodies together, and you're like, shit, you can't do it for banter. You can't just do it because nah. you want to be on TikTok and stuff. I don't do it for that, bro. I do it because I love this stuff. And when I perform when I perform to these people, they feel it. Like, I done, I done like a show in Nigeria last year. In January, I think. Yeah, what's mad. the Niger love like? like bro, or is it at, it's insane. No. Crazy. Yeah, man. I can't do what I, I do it here in, in Nigeria. No. I is it, I you get, is it straight mobbing out there? Yeah, They're mobbing of course, you. Of course. Like, it's, we love, bro. It's nice. I like it. That's why I, that's why I go back there a lot. Yeah. So I can keep my balance. Yeah. Because when yeah, I'm in the UK, I do a lot of normal, normal stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds yeah. bad saying normal. No, no, but no. But it's like in Nigeria. When I'm in Nigeria, like. You can't do that stuff, I'm an artist two for seven. But here, I like to do things I used to do. If I became an, like a signed artist or is that, why not? Is that is that one of the reasons that you like came here for the music thing because you had to do it here, and then obviously now it's kind of like you're getting respected worldwide, but you couldn't blow like that, like in Nigeria. Yes, you the thing of course, it was with my dad, but that took me away from Nigeria, bro. And the thing was that I was gonna go to America, right? And then they brought me here. Mm. And I was going to go to America because obviously you can tell that I'm influenced by America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not because of how I speak. I don't speak like them, but I'm no. saying. Musically. When I, when I, yeah, like Vibes. Lil Wayne. You yeah, know. I've heard you so, speak about that. So yeah, was, we're going to talk was about that, Weezy 100%. It was that Nigerian artist and Lil Wayne. That was it. Yeah. That's all I needed to make myself. It sounds crazy. That's all I had to digest. And I feel like that's what I, I hear that a lot. You know, and I hear Lil Wayne sound like that guy, but no one will ever know. Because mm -hmm. the way it does is twanging with origin or whatnot, that guy sounds like it naturally without no origin. I don't know how to say it. It's, it's a bit crazy. Yeah. But Wayne is someone that you. I've seen him perform before, bro. It was insane. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen it, him perform like, once as like, well. I that think. was crazy, bro. Because that's the only. That's, you know, I respect it. It's one of the legends. It's like le when you look up to people like that, and I was saying it, I've been saying it to the man them and to other people that sometimes there's peers, artists that we individually you can respect x amount of artists whoever is Such. your guy mm -hmm. and it's like or the people that you like and when you have their moments especially some of these us man obviously now it's nothing a lot of these men can come over here but yeah. some of the legendary names like they ain't over here all the time yep. wayne is one of them bro even for me yep, like yep. wheezy cash money yeah, well, that's I was, me I was bro, wale like, yesterday actually and Wale is one of the mm. people that like, when I was younger, I listened to him crazy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I had to tell him that the other day because obviously we, we hung out like at least four times now, mm. me, him, and Sloan and ETC. Mm. So yeah, I was like, you know, think about it. I used to listen to this nigga like <laughs> in the snow, bro, when I'm walking to college and shit, bro. Do you yeah. understand? And we're just hanging out, chilling, bro. Like, you know, it's mad. At the same time, like when I done a song with Wiley, 
that's how I felt because I was in Africa listening to Wiley on Westwood. That was an early time, bringing didn't it? out Chipmunk yeah. and Ice Kid. Yeah, and I ended up having it sung with Chipmunk too and Wiley, and I listened to them when I was in Africa. And you know what it is, bro? It's mad, bro. There's nothing wrong with we. You know, I've said this in other episodes as well. There's there's nothing wrong with being showing a man openly, yo, man, yep. like. You're the guy, like, yes, of I course. fuck with your thing, you well, know what well, I'm saying? Well, well, my, that's my big bro, like, I got mad respect for him. I still talk to him to, today, bro. Yeah. You know, and that's what, bro, when we shot the video for Bounce, when I, when I, when I sent it to him, we sent the verse back, and everyone, even my label at that time, they said he wasn't going to pull up for the video because it didn't go to his own video. Bro. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, but he told yeah, me yeah, yeah. It was coming. I said to everyone, I said, yo, this is my Italian brother, you know, because he's obviously from the Caribbean, so obviously yeah. they follow the tribe of Israel. And by the same, right, is my, I said, it's my Italian brother, he's not going to do that to me. Yeah. And then they called me, so I just landed at the airport, I'm on my way to, you know, and I pulled up. And then they had the, you know, the little kid they used for Bossy, the one that was mm, dancing mm, so mm. with the afro. So he was already there, because the four white was on come, so they're going to use him again for the <laughs> verse. So I made him meet, I made him meet Wiley that day. I'm like, yo, there you go. They meet the person you're trying to help. Yeah, that's yeah, rare yeah. that he's, you know, he's pulled up for you, bro. I feel, I feel like that was the last video, actually. That yeah. says a and lot still, because my man don't pull up to anything, obviously. Everyone knows that, you know what I mean? So I respect him a lot, man. Big big up Wiley, every time. Yeah, and you've seen Wheezy, you said, as well, yeah? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen him perform, you know. Obviously, I was in the night, and then I was just in Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I yeah, saw yeah. that happen, you know. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, one of the coldest, I think, man. I think it was Chris Brown, Migos, Pretty Wap. Fuck it, though. And next, I was like, I'm in it, I'm in it, I'm Yo. in it. I was like, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. nah, 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 Locker. nah. I lost my mind. Yeah, bro. yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's yeah. how it to me when I, I was see like, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not here, I'm in it, I'm not going crazy. Nah, it don't oh. matter who, who, what we do in music, artists, DJ, nah. whatever, bro. When you see the goats and nah. it's your thing, it's your, it's your. Bro, even people, Bonner Boy, bro, let me tell you something. Sometimes, like, even before, like, I would, I would, I would send a message, I'd be like, living my dream. Yeah. Like, do you understand? Like, living my dream right now, like, big up, this is crazy. Yeah. Because when I saw that, I said, this is motivated. I was. You gotta give back to the people, you man. Have Every to. time when I saw that, they all kind of I message him like and that's, that's the only one of the biggest artists in Nigeria is on my WhatsApp, Facts. bro. And it's cause it's cause like you know he has like you know he can see like potential. I mean that's the reason mm. why I can give me air and I respect him yeah. crazily, bro. You know because what he's doing right now like he's dealing with flipping style, bro. Yeah, you know yeah, why? Yeah. He's changed. He, he didn't is. cheat the game. No. You know when you fight for your stuff and you eventually hold it, so it's gonna be fun when you're doing those performances. Yeah, and people. It, it comes from different calling, bro. You know, it's crazy. Even someone like Burner Boy, like people, I mean, obviously fans of the music or f real fans of, the, of him as an artist will know his, his journey. But for like all of the new fans that he's got, they don't realise that he's been in it for time. Yeah, man. You see, like, yeah, man, that's, the, 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 just that, that's the, I want to how see. it blew is crazy, that's the man. bro. But that's like, definitely, definitely my, my favourite Nigerian like, artist and performer right now. Yeah. I just got to be honest. Yeah, it's not not because I I like everyone else, but I feel like he's set in pace. Yeah, I, I feel like it's my time that is, is coming now. Talk to me a little bit Cause, about because then mosh pit is gonna be crazy. Because <laughs> because because no me I'm I'm very left, you know. So it like my, just... my first mosh pit was in Germany, bro, and it was in 2019, bro. Before everyone, I was the first Afrobeat artist to start mosh pit. You now I me mean, was my thing. Yeah, when yeah, I do yeah, shows yeah. in Nigeria, I get people rip their vests off. Bro. <laughs> like it's insane, bro. <laughs> You know, people, it's the energy that I carry, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Now, so now imagine when this shit gets bigger. Yeah, it's off the scale. Like, it's going to be crazy. Someone, someone said I'm the Travis Scott of Africa. Fucking hell, man. That's very, that's, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I take that. The, um, let's, no, talk, no, no. let's talk about the new joint. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a little, about this, little bit about this new record before we talk about, obviously, some of the stuff that's come in, some of the people you've been in, our, in the studio with. I see yeah. all kinds of stuff come up when you're involved, bro. But it's mad. get off. Let's talk about this new record, man. What, NWA? So NWA is out now. I can't lie. I made it two years ago. Right. You know, like I made five songs that night. And that was the fourth song I made. And that's the reason why I did not say Jiggy Boy's intro. Right. Just let me credit that for the members that have been disturbing my DMs. Tell them. Saying that this thing is so, it's therapy to them, but I did not say the intro. That was the reason why I did not say it. That was my fourth track. And I was tired. <laughs> did you get it? <laughs> so I just went just to looking record. after the kids all, all day. Bro, like, it was, you like, know it's mean? like I have the most flexible lifestyle. It's insane. So, but yeah. NW is moving mad. You know, the fans, are, I don't like to call them fans. I call them the members. Yeah. The members are really happy. You know, they're very excited. You know, I'm happy as well. Obviously, I went we went, we went, top 30. Mm. They dropped in Nigeria, top five on e -pop. Big support yeah. when you drop as well. I bro, see that and crazy, I swear, bro. 
I didn't pay nobody, bro. <laughs> it's just the members. I got to be honest, bro. It's Tell the members. No, hundred percent. I don't know. I'm so I'm, I'm just gonna say first. I'm very grateful, and I mean it from my heart. I'm very happy that everything is going the way I actually want to go. What about the title, like, did the name got any relevance? To obviously, obviously, it's from NWA it's from it's from Eazy-E and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Obviously, obviously, the best way to like keep it short, you know. Obviously, it's called niggas with right, yeah. and things, but. Obviously, just you know, a cool way of you know presenting that. That's you know why I was representing the shit. So you know, NWA like easy, you know, cool guy, like easy, you know. I'm doesn't mean like you know speaking to the jiggy babes as well. You know what I'm saying? Like so, everything was going on nicely, bro. You know, like bro, <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Like it's insane, bro. I don't think I need to be. Saying. It's mad. No, bro. no, no. I see What's it, coming I see next? It. My next EP that's coming up is called is, is called to the core. So when like, we get in that, yeah, that's when? coming ASAP, bro. Okay, like, like next next couple months, bro. Like next month kind of stuff, bro. Like I'm not. <laughs> are you someone? Are you? I'm not playing games, bro. Do you, do you, I owe the members a lot of music. Do, yeah, yeah. And I just, I, just, I, just, I just got good news today. So that's the reason why I'm saying all this. Come on. So I'm able to like you know I'm, it's time now, you know even though I'm faster right now. Obviously, sorry guys, I have to drink water because I'm speaking. You know that's why. No, we appreciate but, that, bro. Know, it's too, so it's too the, dry fast. The EP. That's why I'm not speaking with some of the energy because we'll keep it calm. You got, yeah, yeah, you got to get through the day. Yeah. <laughs> the EP's coming. Yeah, to the core. Do you, when it comes to dropping the music, do you have any, do, basically, do you work on your own, like, time scale? Like, yo, this is ready, I'm good to go, yes. I'm letting it off? Or yep. do you have to, is it different? And I don't speak to like, no one. Yeah, it's just me. It's you and like. And I and I and I keep it to myself for a while. That's the reason why I was telling a couple of my guys today. To, yes, nah, yesterday actually. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I was telling them you need to work closely with me because to, I can't tell you everything. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't like to. I don't like to. Why is that? people. You don't like to. I don't like to inconvenience people. Like, I don't want to. Um, Open your head, bro. Oh, like, for real. I'm, I'm forcing you. Like, I like things to happen naturally. I want you to be in the studio while I'm making a song and you get gas naturally. I'm like, you. That's hard. Rather than I send you the song, then wait for a text back or a call. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. Like, I just prefer you just being around. So sometimes, even when I'm in the song called again, right? I didn't even like again, bro. It sounds bad. I was gonna give it to my friend. That song one of my biggest songs right yeah, now, yeah, bro. Yeah, still. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I didn't really like, I also didn't like it. No, I knew it was a good song, but I didn't yeah. want to release it for myself. I was going to give it to right. someone else. Because I, I was thinking my label then wouldn't understand what I'm on. Right. So I was going to give it to someone else to release it for me kind of stuff. But then I sent to my and I was like, no, bro, that's a flipping single, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, shit, you guys are on that. I was like, all right, cool. You know, and then, so, but if people were not around, in, uh, around me to tell me to send that, I wouldn't have sent that to them, trust me. And I kept it to myself and I kept quiet. But then, you know, that's why I have to have people, good people around you that can pick up things and be like, yo, bro, I rate that. Yo, we should work on this, da, da, da. I don't really like to present myself too much like so that. So sometimes you got, have you got people in the team where literally they don't even know when your thing's going to drop and you just will let off and yeah, yeah, miss yeah. out? Yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot. And then the phone I starts swear, ringing, like, I what, you let it off? I swear, I swear, it happens a lot. <laughs> I swear, I'm so sorry. Even when I do shows sometimes, they'll be like, I don't even know the song. I ain't even singing it. That happened in Nigeria one time. That's crazy. Yeah, bro, Stingbo. Stingbo, I very much stayed to do Love is a Gamble. Actually, yeah. we went to see Uvar the other day. Congratulations to you, bro, and to myself. Wavy. So yeah, that was big really up cool. sleep, man. Every and the crazy time. thing is that we never performed the song in the UK. And yeah, we went to see yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's insane, yeah, right? Yeah. So who are the people? You don't need to come out more. Shit. You know, like, like I don't get it. Because yeah. we only performed that song in Nigeria. But we went to see Uvar. Went crazy. You know, it's mad. But then I brought him out there. Then I just want him to see how people you know need the lyrics and shit. Am I, am I bugging or did you? Also, I have a release recently with uh, Fecky as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And a joint with yeah, Fecky, yeah, yeah. innit? Shout out to Fecky. Shout yeah, Fecky's yeah, family, That bro. one was a ringer as that's well, family. bro. That was family every time. Big up Fecky every day, bro. That was that's, a cold link-up, man. That was family. We had to do that, you know. That was really nice, you know. Yeah, that was a great was really record. Nice. Shout out to Fecky, man. So the EP's coming. Um, talk to me. I swear, you've been in the studio with Asake, right? Yeah, what man. was one in there? Like that. Bro, Talk a little bit about peak, that. That's, I, that's the reason why I'm so gassed, bro. You got some news, isn't it? Dog is mad, bro. I, bro. I don't want the ops to come at me. That's the reason why I can't. <laughs> so who really who know. was in that session? There was a couple of you that day, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But me, I should have made two singles. Yeah. And we already shot a video, bro. Oh shit. Okay. So yeah, yeah. it's peak. That it's it's go time. Yeah. Yeah. Heavy. Me and Tenny got a record as well, bro. It's insane, bro. Like. Like, I don't know. Does that blow your mind? Like, because yeah. I feel like you're the realest guy. Bro, where, it's like, crazy right now, bro. You're a major artist in your own right, bro. But I feel like because it's been such a grind yeah. that you just 
you're just enjoying you know what's the crazy? journey. I got, got some respect for people. Man. Yeah, yeah, and that's so what it feels the thing like. Bro. I don't see myself as you know, because I'm just, I, I just, I just be with the G's, bro. I'm just yeah. chilling, bro. Yeah. But the thing is, I like, shout to Lantana as well in Nigeria. I saw him in a club, and then he called me and it's speaking to me in my language, mm. and it was telling me that yo, like, don't ever carry yourself small, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Like, you're big, bro. You motivated me in so, so, so way when you had your child. This, that, this, that. Yeah. A lot just, of people. I'm just yeah. letting you know now. And that's the same, same respect I, I give to Asha K as well. Because, you know, real rock and is real, bro. You know what I mean? And, bro, I've performed with Bernard on stage. Bernard, yeah. <laughs> bro, you should understand that my thing's different. Bro. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, a lot of, I only work with people that can put their chest high. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So other people don't want to be around me because, I don't know, I don't really get it. Maybe they don't want to stick on my top or something. Like, <laughs> I, I flex my biceps. That's the reason why I wear double XL every day. I don't get it. But, yeah, but you know, real, but real, like, real, I like, real, like, I like for example, Asha is a bigger artist than I am. But then we can only we can only connect with each other through the artistry, yes. and that's the form nobody else can understand. Only me and him understand that. Do you understand? And that's what I got from. You no, know, bless him, man. I appreciate like him doing, him doing the record. What's that like working with him? Like, what's his energy it was, like? It was the way the way I like to work. Yeah, we're, we're from like the same cloth. Which is what? What's that look like in the studio? Very serious. Straight to straight yeah, to work. Yeah, yeah, no, no joking about. No. No. Yeah. Just quick a, quick sessions just, or do you take all the time you need is it a lot just relaxing guys are chilling guys are smoking everywhere everywhere is good you know and you know when you hear what you like you just, just I, mean, I, don't, I don't like to sh- i don't I, I don't i don't call it see tending my friend then tending she's crazy bro when we made the song that's on the ep she walked upstairs 2 a.m in the morning in nigeria and walked to the mic i swear and recorded straight. i can't make it up bro yeah without writing line just straight recorded she's insane but you see like i like i sit back Everyone can be making the most noise in the studio, but I'm just focused. Right. And I'm writing what I'm going to use. Do you understand? I can just hear in my head. But when I'm by myself, excuse me, when I'm not with, like, you know, producers or whatnot, I put melodies down. And in my melodies, I can hear words and everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It sounds like magic, bro. Like, it's like my little formula and stuff. So yeah. now that we're, now that your career is where it is and you're working, not only working with the people you want to work with, but even got direct links to the people that you have now what what can we who is it that you want to work with going forward or that you haven't worked with yet that mm. is 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 coming or maybe it's on the list or it's going to happen or you know and to, and to link up with central c for sure for yeah? the uk sake the energy we just done our single as well that's coming out soon that was like two months ago mm. yo it's peak this year so i feel bad for everyone because <laughs> no man i'm the ook man bro i am the ook man <laughs> Do you understand? I was so happy Asha K gave me a curry because I, I was tired of being the oak man for myself, bro. I, I, like, this is what I do. You know, NSG and Kidakuz, or Kidakuz featuring NSG is coming as well. I just remember that. Mad. Mad. I got something with Rema. Jeez. As well. I actually, I have two with Rema. Um, Buju. So yeah. you're going to be out of here, bro. Like, it's going to, it's, it's already different, I it's feel. But it's... I wish I had more energy, bro. No, no, no. You have more than out, enough bro. energy, it's, it's man. It's insane, bro. Like, I'm so grateful, bro. Like, I'm just happy. Because obviously, like, while I was painting, I was locked off, you know, I can't lie. I was not really interested in a lot of things. Mm. You know, not, because I was, not because I don't care, but I just feel like, because I was growing dreads at some point, but I cut them off. So while I was, dre- I was growing it, I knew it wasn't for, it wasn't for me. I right. feel like spiritually, it was doing the wrong thing to me. Mm. And I had to chop it off. Just going back to the thing with Sench, have you ever had any discussion? Have you... No, no, I haven't reached out yet. You haven't? Yeah, yeah, I should. Yeah, you should, man. Yeah, yeah, I will, I will. A million percent. I, I, was, I, was, I was a slun yesterday. I was in the script to 4 a.m. I'm going to shout. I'll t- actually tell slun to him. I was just DMing myself. And the... Um, what else did I want to ask you? Uh, what I wanted to ask you is, obviously, from what you've experienced coming up in the game, how... What's the current, in your opinion, what's the current music climate like for new artists like what new artists coming up what's it like for them like, I, don't, what, I don't really know man it's, it's a new world now. Like, yeah. I don't really like the tiktok world is like, different. different like i'm a thriller guy do you understand even though like you know people i'm so sorry i like tiktoks and whatnot but i feel like i'm just not it's not meant for everyone no you no, get? no yeah 100%. i think you gotta be natural with that yeah shit, yeah you feel yeah. me you can't force you still gotta do your promo and whatnot you know but i feel like you know it's not for everyone i feel like there's new there's i call them covid babies mm. so to see the new artists like, you know, when after the, the pandemic happened, mm. like, bro, pff, shit, Bear it's, Festivals got cancelled. Yeah. You know, so now the COVID babies came. So COVID babies are there a couple of years. So now, this 2024, it's time for, like, people like me, like Osman that created this 
marathon and then got stopped by COVID. So now it's about to get peak. So I don't really know anything. It's for, about to be like the get back. Yeah. So yeah. I, I don't really know anything for all that. For the new it's artists, it's just you. Because, you know, I've already showed my lot enough love. Now, now it's, <laughs> it's us time, you know, it's us time, it's energy's time, it's my time. You know, who else, who else, who else is in, in the gang? You know, shout out to the Nigerian law, Santi, everyone. No, actually, my nigga Dio is fucking Dio's time. You know, it's peak. I was with Dio. We're trying to make a joint tape right now. Dio's a Nigerian artist. You right. You're locking with him. Sick guy. Afrobeats artist. Yeah, Afro. Okay. You know, he's a rapper. He's insane. He's my blood type. Sick. Same energy. We was in the club one time. We both had this neon green hair on. And then it was making our hair glow in the dark and shit. Bad. And there was beef in the club. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I stopped the beef. <laughs> so it was mad. We looked like Evil Twin and shit. It was mad. So the EP, and then, I mean, I don't even need to ask you. Obviously, it's going to be more music non stop after that, after the EP. That's, bro, I'm so happy. Today was a great day for me. You know, I just got a great news that I can do my thing, bro. I never cried to anyone when I was stressing. Do you get? I was kind of stuck. <laughs> But when you say do your thing, are you, you referring to the green light on a record? Is that what we're talking yeah, about? Yeah, green light. Okay, just to green be light. clear. So after the fast speak. It's up. Yeah, that's the plan. So right now me and God are having a relationship tied up because the ups are going to cry in buckets. They're going to get a bucket and cry in it this field. <laughs> that's the plan. Let me ask you a couple more before we jump out of here, bro. Two questions for um, your positive news. The first one, bro. Who's had the biggest impact in Kid Akudz's life and why? Who's had the biggest impact? What do you mean, my personal life? You take it how you want to take I it, the biggest life. impact. I feel like the biggest impact has been my kids, man. Talk I about just, it. I just go to be honest. It's just, it's giving me responsibility and I care more about life. And before I never give a damn about anything, I can just walk out here and, and travel anywhere I want to by myself. Like I've, I've been solo place by myself because I just went to just see what's up. But now it's like, I know I got to get back home, you know, I know I got to look after, I know I got to work because I have to look after before I didn't need to work. Because I'm a G, bro. I can just do anything and I make money. Do you understand? So, but when you know it's, you have kids, you can't go to jail. You can't do crazy stuff. So now it's just a responsibility and just keep me grounded. I feel like that's the only thing that's actually, like, you know, touched me crazily. I never thought I could be controlled because mm. I'm an air sign, baby. I thought I was going to be flying. So now I got stuck. <laughs> so my kids are the only ones that can put me in place, you know. No, bro, I'll be laying down and I'll hear daddy and I'll jump up, like, for my sleep. And I'm going straight to, the, you know, I'm like, what the hell? This yeah. guy's actually bossing me around. <laughs> Do you understand? That's actually the, the deeper line. Daddy, I'm like, I'm like, whoa. And when you hear that, daddy's like, no, nah, you need me. Because yeah. I have to answer to that it's, word. It's important. I would never ignore my son calling yeah. my name. Never. Yeah. I'll run to it. No, no, nah, nah. big up that answer. And one more as well for your positive news. What would... Kidder could now tell a younger version of himself if he could go back and tell yourself something from everything that you've experienced so far. A younger you, what would you tell? What would you tell a younger, younger version? Mm, that's a deep question. Let me see. I don't think I've really made any mistakes yet. I don't think I want to, because I feel like I've really like lived my life like nothing matters. You know, so I don't think I've been in a place of I've not even got. I'm, I don't owe people money and shit. Do you understand? Like, I don't owe labels like bare millions. So, like, I've kind of played it very safe. But I feel like, you know, while I could have done better, I probably could have got a JV, a Jiggy Boys. That would like, be my first conversation with, with Universal Records when I first came in the office, actually. <laughs> when the building right now, that's crazy, yeah. That's, that was where I got my first deal before they moved from Central. But yeah, that would have like, been the only thing. Like, I got a JV and stuff. So, the sub game kid could sign, I'll have signed my dream. So I can have money in my dream, so I can do things by myself. Because I have this crazy, crazy vision that I can't explain to everybody. You know, I, I just have to just do it first and show, like show and prove. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. feel like you're, you're on your own time, man. You, yeah, a man. Big, there's a lot going on in the mind. You get yeah, me? Yeah, man. Like, it's just interesting to just be able to navigate your mind. You know, and right now I'm in control of my life. That's why I'm so happy, man. <laughs> like it's very important to be in control of your life. Come on, bro. Anything yeah. else you want to let the people know before we duck out of it? Yeah, man. Just keep believing in yourself. You know, like, you know, yeah, man. Do your thing. Like, middle finger to the ears. Come on. Do what you need to do. Believe in God is very important. You know, that's the reason why my vocals are very low because I'm giving it to God. Yes. Sacrificing it for God. And just keep doing your thing. And just, you know, don't never take no for an answer. See, when they tell you, let me tell you this one, this last one. When they tell you they're not biting, 
they'll say, okay, go look for who's going to buy it. Literally, yeah. that's what people no, say. No, that's important. That's a new that's slogan. I've been hearing they're not biting a lot out so, here. Someone told me, someone important in the game once told me I was complaining about some stuff and artist manager hit me mm. and he said, fire, if they don't mess with you, you don't mess yep. with them, bro. Straight. That's it. I don't like, take no. I, I, just, I, don't, I, never, I, don't, I don't feel down as well. When you say no, I'm like, all right, cool. Someone else needs it. Mm, you know? mm, and mm. there's a lot of someone else outside, outside. When you believe in yourself and you keep working, and don't do this for money. That's very important. Yeah. Money always meet you when you do it for the it, money. The for, money will come. Passion. Yes. I swear, I've tested it a million times. That's what happened. If you try to do it for money, it's going to run for me. But when you just do it for the passion, money chases you. The money you. will come. You know, bless up, JBFC top member. Yeah, you know, kid of good, fire star, my bro. Bless up, bro. Bless up, man. Love Appreciate every time. Every time, bless up.